Welcome to Hydraulic Press Channel. The winter is coming, so it's tire changing season, at least here in Finland. So I decided to test which is the safest jack for you when you are changing the tires. So we have scissor jack, floor jack, bottle jack and then jack stand that should be the safest of them all. And the idea is pretty simple, we are going to press all of these with the press and measure how much force they can take. And they are all rated for different loads, so I think we are going to give the highest score to the one that has largest safety margin. And this video is sponsored by NordVPN. VPN is a bit like jack stand for your internet. It makes <laughs> everything a little bit safer. And you can now make your net safer at nordvpn.com slash hydraulicpress and use code hydraulicpress to get 66% off from two year plan. Yep, so now we have scissor jack on the smaller press and here we can see the pressure inside of the cylinder. This is two ton jack stand, so it should take at least this much of pressure. Yep, and I go quite slowly so we can be sure to get the maximum force. Yeah, there it was. Yep, I think I have more accurate result after edit, but it was about four tons and I think it was like already making pretty bad sounds before that. So this has only safety margin of two and I think that's pretty not very much. So I wouldn't put anything under car when lifting with device like this. This isn't very safe. Yep, and then the next one is floor jack. And here we have two things that can go wrong. The mechanics of the jack or the hydraulics. And on the hydraulic side there is probably pressure valve that is going to limit the maximum pressure inside of the cylinder. So I think the most probable case is that the hydraulics just start to leak the pressure. So it will go down without any drama. Yeah, pretty interesting result. Actually the uh, limit for the hydraulics, where the hydraulic side started to leak, I think it was about the same where the whole frame of the thing started to bend. Like this. I think you didn't see that very well. It started to bend from this side first. Yeah, and as you can see the Cylinder is still out, so I didn't hit the bottom of the cylinder, so the frame damage wasn't from that. We just had too much of force on top of this. Yep, so about same result for this one. I was really surprised that the frame started to crack also. And then the bottle jack, and this should be able to take six tons, so three times as much as the previous ones. And here isn't much of else that could go wrong than the hydraulics because this is just like one hydraulic cylinder with really simple pump. And I also think there is pressure valve here, so it's not going to explode, but it just goes down.
the hell happened? Uh, I wanted to stop here to have a look because I have no idea. Ah uh, no, there is a crack there, so oil will come out. And I think we actually damaged the top of the top of the piston broke and it spread it the piston and the piston damaged the cylinder from there. So really interesting. Yeah, so the maximum force that we generated was over 20 tons. I know on edit what was the point when this started to go down and it was this much. But I assume that it was more than 12 tons. So this has the highest safety margin of the regular jacks. And it's also the simplest one with, with the smallest amount of parts. So I would say that from these three, this is the safest one. Yeah, but I would recommend using the jack stand always when doing anything a bit more complicated. And always if you have to go yourself under the car. Don't ever go under the car if it's lifted with this or any other things that we have tested so far. Yep. And now we are back with the big press and the jack stand is there. And I would say that here is two places where it can broke from the base or from this safety pin. And I would say that it's going to be the base. The safety pin is so big that it's not going to. I think we would like take tens of tons to break that. Nice. <laughs> there was quite a lot of things happening. <laughs> and on the final moment it escaped. Yep, that was pretty interesting. I was like concentrating on handling the machine. So I had to watch some footage and inspect this to realize what happened. And the first thing that broke just I didn't say was the pin and this is the and here is the piece that fly out and then all of the force was transferred to front side of the pin and <laughs> this was really nice how it just went through the pipe. And the base was really strong, that broke on the last moments before it escaped. I see on the edit better, but it was about 25 tons before this broke. So this has safety margin of five. So way more than with the other jacks. And also here isn't any parts that you can cannot see and inspect. It's pretty easy to check this, that this is okay and see that the old welds are okay and it isn't like old and rusty. So this is by far the safest option. It's the strongest and the most simplest one. Yep, so with these important tips, you can make your tire changing operation safer. And if you want to make your internet use it safer, don't forget to check out today's sponsor, NordVPN. I have been using VPN now two years myself. As an YouTuber, I take my internet security really seriously. So I always use VPN when using public VLAN. Luckily I live in Finland, so we have unlimited data plans on mobile phones, so I don't have to use those public VLANs very often. But always when traveling on different countries, in hotels, airports or stuff like that, it's really important not to use public VLAN without encrypted connection. And sometimes it's hard to read services and websites that are in US, which is our like main target audience. So it's really handy to have VPN so I can avoid any geoblocking. 
And using VPN also hides your IP address, so it greatly improves your online privacy. And what makes NordVPN better than my old VPN service is huge collection of servers in over 60 different countries. And NordVPN is also super fast, so I can even watch YouTube videos with 4K resolutions over my VPN connection. So start protecting your internet experience today at nordvpn.com com slash hydraulic press and use my code hydraulic press to get 66% off from two year plan and there is also risk free 30 day money back guarantee. So stay safe with your car and with your internet and that is all for today. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. And for today's Halloween extra content, we have this mummy. It looks really dangerous, and it is, so we have to deal with it. Yeah.